good morning students welcome to online science class standard 9 unit number 4 electric charge and electric current so dear students in this session we are going to discuss about short answers and the numerical problems so totally three problems are in this lesson okay let's see first short answer on what factors does the electrostatic force between two charges depend what are the factors that is value of charges on them and then distance between them and nature of medium between them value distance and the nature of medium second one what are ele electric lines of force the lines representing electric field are called electric lines of force that is electric field that lines are representing the electric field what is define electric field third question so the electric field is the region around a charged body within which its influence can be experienced within which it can attract or repel another charged body so this is known as electric field so on next define electric current and give its unit so what is electric current it is a rate of flow of electric charge through any section of a conductor so the electric uh, current that is i is equal to capital q divided by t its unit is ampere that is capital a and then state ohm's law this is very very important question dear students listen ohm's law ohm's law states that that current passing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends and provided the physical conditions like temperature density etc remain unchanged that is v directly proportional to i or that is v is equal to i r okay on next sixth one name two appliances which work under the principle of elect that is heating effect of current uh, what are the two appliances that is iron box water heater or toaster these are the uh, appliances which works under the principle of electric heating effect of current how are the home appliances uh, connected in general in series or parallel give reasons in a household electric current electric circuit different home appliances are connected in parallel to one another due to the following reasons so the home appliances that are uh, connected only in parallel circuit so what are the reasons the appliances can be operated independently for independent work we have to connect in parallel series only if one appliance is switched off other remains unaffected each appliances get the same constant voltage in parallel connection of electrical appliances the overall resistance of the circuit is reduced due to which the current from the power supply is high so these are the reasons uh, the home appliances connected only in parallel series and next list the safety features while handling electricity so the first one is ground connection second one trip switch and third one fuse ground connection the metal bodies of all the electrical appliances are to be connected to the ground by means of a third wire apart from the two wires used for electrical connections so dear students the ground connections are uh you will be detailed in study in in higher classes okay and then trip switch it is an uh, electro mechanical devices which does not allow a current beyond a particular value by automatically switching off the connection okay this is one type of switch and then fuse a fuse is another safety mechanism which works on joule heating principle short answers over and then next we are going to see about problems so the problem number 1 rubbing a comb on hair makes the comb gets minus 0.4 coulomb first one find which material has lost and lost electron and which one gained it second find how many electrons are transported in this process that is the solution the material the coulomb that gained electrons of the hair lost uh, the electrons so the charge of one electron is that is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb and we already know that the formula q is equal to ne 
and then n is equal to q divided by e we have to substitute the value of charge what is that 0.4 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 what we get 2.5 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons so second question calculate the amount of charge that would flow in two hours through an element of an electric bulb drawing a current of 2.5 ampere so the given values are i is equal to 2.5 ampere and then t that is 2 hours uh, 2 hours is converted into seconds means that is 7200 seconds so uh, we know that the formula q is equal to i into t just substitute the values 2.5 into 700 and sorry 7200 what we get that is 18000 coulomb the third question is the values of current flowing through a resistor for various potential difference v across the resistor are given below what is the value of resistance so the given values is what is that current and the voltage value what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, plot the graph for uh, this values current and voltage values and then you have to take the slope and then dear students after that we have to calculate what we have to calculate is resistance okay so the resistance of resistor r is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by i2 minus i1 so uh, we already known that v2 v1 i2 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 and i1 values are uh, you have to take an in that uh, slope okay so here it is uh, 13.2 minus 10.2 divided by 4 minus 3 so what we get 3 by 1 so r is equal to 3 ohm okay that's all so the fourth lesson is over now uh, so in fourth lesson there is no detailed questions uh, detailed questions ma so only short answers and then numerical problems that is only three problems is there okay thank you